community the Ogono Art family. It's time for evolution. And so in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Webtoon employment scam. And this Webtoon employment scam is targeting freelance graphic designers and illustrators alike. And so I hope that this video can help to spread awareness so that it can help people prevent from anything uh, horrible happening to them. So we're going to get right into this video. So right now, what you see here is the, uh, the freelance graphic design. Right? They, they send you a, uh, a request to talk to you through an interview. They say that uh, the HR manager, uh, Esther Yoon, wants to uh, speak with you uh, the, in, the, in the next following day to set up an interview. And he asks you to uh, add Esther Yoon in, uh, on uh, Google Hangouts. Right? And they provide you this very shady uh, Gmail. Uh, it's very shady. And so one thing I should have noticed beforehand is that this is coming from a Gmail account. You know, uh, really top professional companies usually have their own domain. So they'll email you through uh, Webtoons instead of uh, Gmail. They'll have a, a Webtoons email address as opposed to a Gmail email address. So and that indicates that it's a um, it's a professional company, you know. So that's one of the, the first red flags. And so this is what happened when I uh, participated in an interview with the, uh, the fake or the, the imposter Esther Jung, you know, so I tried at first I tried to call uh, Esther Jung, the fake one, uh, for a video interview. However, they said that, uh, you know, I shouldn't call and this is going to be a chat interview. and. That there right there is a, another red flag because you want to talk to the person face to face and you want to make sure that that they're an actual person and not like some kind of a not some kind of bot or uh, or some some shady some shady guy in a basement you know you want to make sure it's, a, it's an actual it's an actual person you know so and so as we continue on uh, the interview is going to commence so these are screenshots that I have from the uh, the uh, from talking to this to the fake Esther and so as the interview continues uh, the fake Esther is going to provide a uh, an, an engaging email session I mean an engaging interview session with you a chat interview session right so she's gonna ask very time time investing interesting questions that you know uh, a real interview should uh, a real interviewer should ask right so she asks those questions. You invest your time. You get attached, and then after that, you get uh, you get a confirmation that hey, we have decided that you are now you're you are now going to be a member of the graph of Webtoons as as a graphic designer. You know, congratulations. And so when you're done with the when you're done with the interview and you get accepted, you're going to the scammer is going to let you sign this. A contract or this offer letter that they call it so they're gonna tell you all the details as to what's going on here your salary the position uh, the benefits of the stock offers everything it's something something that is, it sounds it sounds real right and at the end they're going to ask for a, uh, a driver's license uh, an ID or some sort of ID and they're going to want you to print it out, like print out the back and front of the ID, send it, send it to them, and also sign this contract and then send this contract to them as well. And so as you send this contract and you, and you give them the ID, they're supposed to give you a check, but we're gonna get into that a little later. That's when the, the, the scam starts to really take its toll. And so the, the contract and your ID, uh, are supposed to be sent to the the supposed, you know, Brian James. It's not the real Brian James, by the way, but they they they're saying that it's going to get sent to the to, to Brian James at this uh, at this web this this email and this email says webtoon at ourjobsnetwork.com. Again, although it may seem something that's oh it says webtoons, uh, the domain the main domain should be webtoons here you know at webtoons.com and so when you send all the required information to them 
they are now going to uh, send you they they're going to send you this check for me I got two checks right and this and they say that they want you to buy these supplies to set up your own mini office at home right and so this position that they're offering is a remote local it's a remote position for for graphic designers or illustrators freelance freelancing and so they want you to set up the the mini office so they say right so these are the supplies that they want you to buy all right so this is the real esther young on linkedin.com and on her activity or her post she has alerted us that uh, someone has been impersonating her uh, giving people you know fake graphic design positions and using the company's name webtoon you know so one thing one thing to question is like you know if, if she's gonna if esther if, if esther Jung is going to use this this image as her as a for for uh, her professional linkedin account why doesn't so uh, why doesn't this Esther have an a, a image? You know why doesn't she have her own image? You know there's just no image there, and like and there's also this shady uh, numbers and, and, and letters. Uh, I don't even know what this what this is. How, how do you pronounce this? You know. And so my number. Uh, yes, I have given them my number. However, I don't feel it's not that that important because I give my business number to everybody. So I've given them my business number. Uh, they have my name, but I don't feel they can really do much with the name. I have given them my driver's license, so they may be able to do something potentially, but I'm not afraid of that. Uh, maybe it'll pop up somewhere in, in, the, in the deep web, so but who knows? Um, I have given them as well the uh, my address, so they they know my address. But uh, why would they want to want to show themselves to me? They wouldn't want to show themselves. They're they're already hiding. They're already covering up. They're using a fake name. Why would they send someone to, to come to my address? You know, they, they may do. They may send some like fair tactical emails or uh, or like mails, mail letters at me, but it's, uh, it won't affect. Uh, but uh, yeah, they have sent. They they, they they got these this these uh, this information. Uh, However, what uh, when this what when the scam really takes in is when they give you a check, and so I received the uh, two checks. Uh, they were telling me that I needed to like carry so I could uh, get the get the supplies shipped to my house ready so that I can uh, start the the training session that they said, and so that's what I did. I went to the uh, I went to my bank, you know, I, I deposited. The, uh, the account and uh, that's when they started telling me to you know now ask for a uh, now ask for a empty money order right thankfully though the bank and then the post office closed at the right time at five and I couldn't do it anymore however she kept she was very naggy about it. well the, the fake Esther the fake Esther was highly naggy about it she she kept on pushing me to like find somewhere to to go find somewhere to go and you know i was i was kind of looking for for locations to, to to take it but at the same time i was asking her questions she, she wanted to be pushy with me i wanted to be pushy with her like you know what was the vendor's name i wanted to i kept on asking what the vendor's name was and she she was she would not give it to me she would she would just she just she just kept <laughs> she just kept asking for a uh she, she asked me to ask the other people for a blank of money order and so I was I was on the mission looking for for locations uh, and then I, I found this location that was uh, open so when I went inside the place was like a desert no one was there I at first I thought no one was there however there was one person in the back who was on her phone right and so I went there and I talked to her I was like I, I would like to make a, a, a blank money order you know, it sounded strange to say, and so yeah, I, I explained the situation to her, and then she said that uh, her her uh, her supervisor went through the same exact thing, and so she told me the story, and then I was like, I was shocked. Then you know, I didn't I didn't know what to say. You know, I invested so much time into this, you know, to to be told that it was it was it was a scam, and so 
I went back. I went back. She kind of, she planted the seed. So I, I, I did some research online. I looked at similar situations for for, for uh, different companies, uh, and so I then found out uh, Esther Yoon's uh, LinkedIn account, uh, the real one, her real account, and uh, she even posted about the situation as I showed in the video uh, previously. So that's when I that, that's when I was like, okay, this is this is definitely a, this is definitely not cool. No, this is a scam. So I went to the bank uh, the next morning, and then I asked the the person that, that I wanted to cancel the the, the checking uh, deposits that I made uh, yesterday, and they said they couldn't do it. Then I explained the situation, what was going on, the, the scamming, the shadiness, and then they were they took it seriously, and they made me speak to uh, to another person. So they made me they made me wait to speak to uh, I guess a higher up person in, in their in their branch and so I waited and I spoke <clears throat> I spoke to the person explained my situation and then he said that he'll get back to me uh, he'll he'll um, he'll see he'll see into the situation he'll, he'll investigate he'll, he'll be sure he'll make sure to stop it and contact me and so here I'm I'm, I'm waiting and so some questions I want answered about the situation was the checks what are the basis of those checks where did the where do those checks come from what all, all those are those checks valid you know it made me think about perhaps those checks belong to someone who had their identity stolen you know perhaps the, the scammers are trying to uh, make you the criminal make you become a fraud after you order the the empty money order you know to show as proof that you use the money or so I'm not I'm not sure exactly and so a bonus tip for anyone dealing with something suspicious a suspicious caller a suspicious text and you want to look up information about that number uh, this site is linked to white pages so when you're when you're looking at this site uh, it tells you uh, what the number is about so right here you can see you can see recent uh, numbers that's been uh, that people are exposing or, or complaining about uh, being a, a scam and they tell you what the scam is for when you when that number does call you so if you're if you're faced with anything uh, just type the number down and then uh, search it and you'll get uh, certain reviews on that number sometimes it there may not be comments but they there may be a a, a judging a judging uh, a voting poll right a voting poll to judge rather the number is safe or not safe so you can check out this site and that, that'll be the video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, feel free to stay safe. Peace out.